Hi and welcome. This is a special day today. This is an opportunity for me to say thank you to a number of subscribers and to a number of people who have been so gracious and supplied me with some materials which I want to show you right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to spin that intro and then we'll come back and I'll show you some of the things that we have here. It's an unboxing day. All right, we're back. I'm Monty McKinnon and I am delighted that you're here. I want to acknowledge something really special. I received this package of machine heads from GraphTech. They're out in Delta BC. And this ratio gear setup is something that I've not seen before. And I gotta tell you, I am really pumped about this. This is very exciting. And guitar builders, you're gonna love this. I'm gonna show you a close-up of this. This shows that what they have done based on the thickness of the strings and the, and the core of the string and how it's wound and what the tension should be, they've got different ratios to keep it in tune. And so what you have on the lower E is a 39 to one turning ratio, which means you're gonna be making very fine adjustments in order to make that string stay in tune. The A string is 24 to one, the D string is 20 to one, and for the G string, they've got it both for electric and acoustic. Acoustic is 14 to one, and I believe I, it's 35 to one, I believe it is for the electric. The B string is 20 to one, and the E string is 12 to one. So they're different ratios depending on the thickness of the string. But let me show you this tuner. This is so slick. This tuner, I love the design, the nickel uh, chrome plate on it. It's absolutely gorgeous and you can feel how smooth this is. It's gonna be just a delight. And these tuners are going on this guitar, absolutely. Not only did they send this to me to try, but they also sent me some Tuscu pins for the bridge to go in there. They've sent me some saddle material to try because these actually work and resonate very well as opposed to some bone, which can get some dead areas. These things are already slotted on the nut, which saves all kinds of time. This one is already uh, compensated. So when you put it in, you're gonna have very little to do. They sent me some flat picks and they sent me some thumb picks. And I can't thank you enough, this is wonderful. So folks, if you're looking for something, and they don't sponsor me here, but if you would like some good quality materials, get out to Delta BC, or better still, get on their website and look for GraphTech. They're great. Thank you, GraphTech. Now, here, I have some things. So you know how I do on bagging and unboxing so well, right? From that previous video. Okay, this is absolutely something that we're gonna need at some point. This is a Rode mic tripod. Ha <laughs> ha, something's cooking, and you're gonna find out in just a short while what's, what that's gonna be used for. And let's take a look at this one. Now this is your comic relief for the day, folks. You're gonna see me use some scissors, I think. Oh, I'm doing well today. But I still need Leo to do the, the cutting around, the purfling, etc. Okay, I'm wearing a lavalier now. This is another lavalier. It's small with a, a little, uh, I don't know, windscreen on the top of it here so that it will prevent all of the bursts of sound that come out of this thing. So we'll see what that does. So that's great. 
Now this, this is from Amazon, and this is, oh, all right, I know what this is. This is, this is a treat for my keto diet, some Ross's chocolate, no, they don't sponsor me, but it's obviously okay given the fact that on a keto diet and it's sea salt in that and it's pretty amazing. Now this package comes from Kim Miller in Australia. And so Kim, what have you done here? I don't know. It's a book, says they told me I had to write this. Oh, this looks interesting. It's done one day at a time. I know what that's like. I wrote a book much like this, although not with this. Well, Kim, thank you very much. I want you to know that I have just recently finished my reading on Kindle of the last book and thank you for writing in here. That's very kind of you. And I will start this tonight. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. That's great. Now, this big box is for something special. And no, it doesn't contain any router bits, but I wish it did. Yeah, I'm still looking for them. All right, what do we got going here? Big box. Inside is another box. Okay, we don't need this stuff. We'll get this out of the way. Okay, folks. This is a Rode mic that will plug in to my computer into the USB port. And I'm excited about this for a couple of reasons. We'll get this open in a minute. Oh wow. Oh wow. Really? Oh, there's a monster of a microphone with a some foam. I don't think that, I think that's just packing stuff. And this will screw onto the tripod. And I will be able to use this in a number of ways. Number one, it's going to allow me when I'm editing to do some voiceover. In addition to that, it's going to allow me to not only do voiceover, but I want to do a podcast, and it will allow me to do that. And I'm pretty excited about this. This is great. Well, that's it for now. I think I've opened everything. So you know what that means? That means it is time for a little libation. And in addition to that, a little bit of tea. So we're gonna enjoy this English breakfast tea, and I would encourage you to get some and give it a go. And again, I wanna thank so much all these people that have sent things to me and ordered things for me and whatnot. This is terrific, I love the book, thank you. I will get into that. And, and these things I'm gonna use on my guitar, and it is absolutely Fabulous! And this Rode mic, you're gonna, you're gonna appreciate the sound of this. I know that. So it's all good. So my Graph Tech friends, thank you so much for, for sending that along to me. And I will uh, use it. And I'm excited to use it. I can't wait to use it. So if I can't get my rotor bits going real quick, then I think what we're gonna have to do is start working on the neck or something of this nature. So we'll see where we're at. So friends, that's it for me. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. 
like it. If you haven't subscribed, why not? Please do, I really appreciate that if you would subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell and be notified when I get another bright idea and I put it up. Down below, you will find an email address if you wish to email me and send me some questions. I see questions have already started coming in, so we're gonna have another Tea with Monty very soon. I, I, why not? Just send some questions along that you have and we'll get to it and answer them just as soon as we can. So thank you again, appreciate you being here. You're the best. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Whoa, Ethan, this is for you, man. <laughs>